I may expect to collect. A lot of the studies that we do here at the hospital are designed to help people to hear better. And in order to do that, we have to be able to control and create realistic environments to do our experiments in because the places where people listen in their everyday environments like classrooms or busy streets have a lot of different sources of acoustic information and so we can't recreate that without a really nice space that allows us to control all of those different sounds. Wood. The anechoic chamber was developed as a co-initiative with the Great Plains IDEA Clinical Translational Research Center at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. And in partnership with them, we developed the funding so that we could build this state-of-the-art facility to study acoustics. This is a specialized research facility for hearing and uh, multisensory uh, research. So the walls are treated with deep uh, wedges and those are designed to capture sound uh, that would reflect from the walls and make an echo. Uh, and so this room has really no echoes of its own, unlike all of the other kinds of rooms that we uh, listen to sound in in our day-to-day -day lives. I made the spectre collect wood. What we're doing with the loudspeaker array here, simulating realistic auditory environments, is really a kind of audio virtual reality. We've configured the anechoic chamber laboratory to have a 96 loudspeaker array, and this allows us to present sound from all directions, including sounds like, say, talkers at a, at a party or in a classroom, but we can also simulate the echoes and reflections that would occur in a real room. Our plan in this space is to pair that uh, with visual virtual reality uh, that we can present uh, experiences over head-mounted displays uh, and really get uh, patients and other research participants to interact with a virtual scene. So this is really all simulated around the, the listener's experience. So they'll sit right in the middle of this array. We can control the sound arriving from all directions. Um, and in a typical experiment, they might use a touch screen like an iPad, or they might be wearing a virtual reality display. Here we have very good control of the audio component of that. We pair that with the visual and the cues that people get from moving around in a space. We can really start to tackle how does multi-sensory information help people of all types get around in the real world. I hope with the research that we're going to do in the anechoic chamber that we can develop new technologies and new techniques that will be helpful to everyone, uh, including people with hearing aids and cochlear implants, to try to improve listening in classrooms, to try to develop technologies that we can't even imagine today because we have these capabilities in the anechoic chamber.